Hello, my name is Jadar Amouni and this is my instructional video on how to play chess for the ENCS 2A2 course. So, the game of chess is a very old game that has been played for over 1500 years. It has evolved throughout the years and today many people play it. Children, adults, as well as professionals. Now to be able to play the game of chess, you need to first be familiar with the way its pieces operate. So, the board of chess is an 8x8 board with the tiles named each tile. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, as well as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The way the different pieces move, the pawn advances forward, only one tile at a time, and it captures pieces diagonally, one tile diagonally forward. Now the knight, knight moves in an L sort of way, just as displayed right here. The bishop, the bishop moves diagonally on the diagonals. The rook moves vertically as well as horizontally. The queen is a mix of the bishop and the rook. It moves vertically, horizontally, as well as diagonally. And the king simply can move to every single square that is around him, but only one square at a time. Unless, of course, if the square is occupied by an ally piece. Now that we're familiar with how chess pieces operate, we can start explaining how the game of chess is played. First, I have to be aware that game of chess can, games of chess can be played in different formats, like blitz format, which means each player has three minutes to play, and each time they make a move, the time is incremented by two seconds. Or classical format, which is a longer format, more than one hour and a half of playtime per player. Now the first phase in the game of chess is the opening phase. In the opening phase, the white pieces always go first. The goal of this phase is to get as much control as possible over the tiles to have a more favorable mid-game, to have more favorable positions and more chances of winning the game. How do we do that? Usually, people study openings beforehand. For instance, they can study the way to start by playing e4. On the other hand, the black side will study the defenses, different defenses, how to defend against someone an opponent who starts with e4 so that they are able to play accordingly and not lose a favorable opportunity to win the game. When this phase of having already prepared the way the game is played finally ends, we become in the mid game. In the mid game, nothing is pre prepared. Everything you're doing now is outsmarting your opponent from the position you got from your opening to get more chances to win the game in the end game. The mid game is simply capturing enemy pieces, changing the position around to have more chances of winning. And then we get to the end game. In the end game, the goal is to win by either checkmating your opponent, making your opponent run out of time, or making them surrender. Usually, games of chess are either wins, losses, or draws. There are a lot of draws and a lot of ways to draw a game. Now, to checkmate an opponent, just as you see here, the enemy king shouldn't have any square to go. If the enemy king moves, it should be directly captured, but if it stays at the same place, it can also be captured. This is very important. If the king cannot move but cannot be captured at its current place, then it's a draw. It's one of the many ways to draw a game. And so the whole game you're putting yourself in certain positions to either not lose like this king or to win, just like the two rooks that are displayed here and the white king, which is winning. There are different ways you can study to win and end games are also studied. For instance, two rook end games are studied, one queen end games are also studied, which are known to be winnable end games. 
And just like that, you can learn how to play chess. You can use various websites online, such as chess.com, lead chess, or you can play over the good old wooden board. In a park with your friends, just one. Now this was my instructional video on how to play chess.